Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to connect to LaserFish for the first time and how to set up your scanner. The first thing you want to do is open the LaserFish client and when you open it up you'll see a screen that looks like this, only you won't have any available repositories listed here. First thing you do is click attach and then in your network repository, LaserFish server, you won't have anything listed here but you'll type in cis-lf dash rio2.tamu.edu and then click this use SSL connection checkbox and then in the drop down list choose tamu dash clar and then click attach and then it brings up a window that asks for your login information and you'll put in your net ID at tamu.edu and your password Then once you put in your password that first time, um, that will bring up the main screen and you won't ever have to do the attach thing again. Next time the TAMU-CLAR um, repository will already be listed there and you can just double click on that one or click open and it'll just bring up the same password entry window where you put in your netid at TAMU.edu and your password. So once you're in LaserFish, then you want to go to the business office folder and then to set up your scanner, um, we'll go first to the scans folder, just so we have a, a place to put what we're scanning. And if you want to create a folder for yourself, you can do that here by clicking this little folder with the nice little new sparkle in the corner. And then you can click on this little scanner button to open up the scanning software. And you can just leave this on basic mode and click OK. And then you'll see this little pop-up window that says Scan Sources, and you want to choose Twain. And make sure this box that says Show Scan Source Setup is checked, and hit OK. And then on Choose Your Scanner from the list below, you want to choose the Kodak Scanner, and then OK. And then you want to click on OCR Settings and check this box that says perform OCR on new images and make sure that it's set on accuracy so that way it will recognize the text and anything that you scan automatically and click OK and then click on enhancements and check rotate image and then OK and then you want to change this color where it says black and white to color and these settings here are where you can change the size of the paper. A4 is just a regular size sheet of paper. Here where it says paper source is where you'll choose whether you're scanning one-sided or two-sided. Feeder means that it scans one-sided and duplex means that it scans two-sided. Automatic is an option but it doesn't work so you'll have to manually change between one-sided and two-sided. So once you've set all those options, they'll stay as they are. You won't ever have to set them again unless you need to change um, the size of the paper or whether you're scanning one-sided or two-sided. So let's say that we're scanning something one-sided right now. You want to put your pages face down in the scanner and then press this little button here, start scanning and it'll pull the pages through and then takes a minute to pull them up on the screen but there they are auto rotated to the direction that they're supposed to be facing and you can scroll to each page down here at the bottom or if you realize that you need to add more pages to it you can go back up to this start scanning button and press it again and add more pages and it'll add them on to the end. So that's a good way to handle the one-sided versus two-sided thing as well. So say that you have a document where some things are one-sided and some things are two-sided. You can scan the pages, you know, if the front page is one-sided then you can scan that page and then 
change the setting to duplex and hit the scan button again and then put in the, the two-sided pages and you can switch back and forth as many times as you need to and then you want to make really really sure that you're scanning each and every page that nothing is getting um, pulled through two pages together or um, you're not missing the, the back of any of the pages because once you scan it eventually we won't be keeping the originals so this will be the only copy that we have of whatever we've scanned so it's really really important that you make sure that every single page gets scanned and is legible so you can also give the document a name over here the general format for the file names is that it's going to start with the account number and then there will be a dash and then the name of whatever folder it's going into and then another dash and then you know whatever other distinguishing information you can see um, the naming conventions for all the different types of documents if you go to the business office folder and then office reference info and then laserfish naming conventions there they are so if you have any questions about how things should be named you can ask whoever you're doing the scanning for so once you have your document named however you want it to be named and you're done with scanning everything you'll just click done and it transfers your file back over into wh whatever folder you were in when you clicked the scan button so that's all you have to do if you have any questions you can of course ask me or whoever you're doing the scanning for may the force be with you